cool. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Captain Farron ramp. We are going to be playing a Freljord Noxus deck with having our champions being Swain and Trundle, uh, two good five mana champions, and then lots of top end, three Captain Farrens and three Leviathans. Uh, so, you know, that's that's the plan is stay alive, have stuff trade off, have Avalanche, Bladder, Veen, Ice Shard do lots of non-combat damage and get to the top end for these two. Speaking of non-combat damage, that's how we level up Swain. We got to do 12 non-combat damage, but that's what the Bladder, Veen, Avalanche, and Ice Shard are for. Help us get there. Um, besides that, we got some blockers. We got, you know, Sentry, even Troll Scavenger. Since we have the six eight drops, should have an 8-drop in our hand quite a bit. So we got Troll Scavengers in here. Um, Tavern Keeper. Also, Babbling Bjergs. The Bjergs will always be drawing our 8-drops for us as well. So we can make sure that we will always have, like, round 8, round 9, round 10. You know, just keep slamming Captain Farron's and Leviathan's. Also, Captain Farron makes these Decimates. These Decimates will do Nexus damage and also non-combat damage. So non-combat damage to level up Swain. But then when you have your leveled up Swain, they'll do Nexus damage. So your decimates can also kind of help finish the job of like when you have your leveled up Swain in play, uh, do a couple stuns like that. And then we're ramping a little bit. We got some Catalyst of Aeons to help get us to our late game a little earlier. So let's go ahead and try it out. We got Captain Farron Ramp. We'll go play our five games. Not looking forward to this one, not going to lie, but you never know. Maybe our Avalanches and Bladder Ravines will really line up. I think this is a very good opening hand. Just go ahead and keep all of these. Okay, this is basically what we could what we could ask for, but I don't know. <laughs> even, if, even though this is what we could ask for, I don't know this will work out for us. Probably not. Sun's beneath me and wind's behind me. Okay, so we'll start with a two for one ish. They still get a treasure seeker and a roiling sands. Nothing escapes my watch. In Avarosa's name. Um, yeah, I guess they don't have, doesn't seem like they have too much, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with their hand. I don't really know how that deck wouldn't have things to play. So the Bladder Ravine damage, of course, gets underneath the Spell Shield. A lot of shiny cards in the deck. I just, I just realized that. Oh, Catalyst, you would have been good before. I am the blade in the darkness. Business as usual. 
I don't like the Zed. It's, it just requires them to use a lot more cards on the Zed. Or they're just going to do that with double attack. Yeah, I'm worried about more pump spells. Yeah, they got me. Just that's their whole hand was just all to pump spells. Oh no, I'm down to one. Okay, not dead. We're not dead yet. Alright, leveled up Swain. So let's see if we attack. They block the 4 3. Hmm. What's my best play? If we go Swain plus Tavern Keeper first. We just play Leviathan first. Victory awaits. I think I have to put more pressure on him. I think it's just... To see what others I don't know. I, I'm not really attacking for a ton of damage. That's a surprise. They could just let that happen and then play the 5 2. So I gotta hope that they don't they don't have the card that gives that elusive. Cool. Our boots are on their throats. I will break them. Technically, this is a better blocker. Okay. Well, they're back to eleven. Thought me smell something. What will you have? I think we're gonna get this game. Got it. All right, very good. That was so close. That double attack with the Sivir was so scary. <laughs> okay, we got Karma Lux. It's like just not a bad hand much at all. Alright, I'm going to send the Tavern Keeper back. My plan right now is like round three, Catalyst, round four, um, Babbling Bjerg. Then we'll have the eight drop. And then, you like, starting round round five, I can like drop Scavenger, Scavenger, and Sentry and just kind of go wide with a bunch of four threes. That should be pretty nice. Don't really have inter any interaction, but the plan is just to drop a whole bunch of late game bombs. Later on. So that... That has to be blind... Yeah, blinding assault. I'm just going to play one of these, actually. Makes their life with these blinding salts a little bit more difficult. Is that 
a little bit more difficult. Nothing escapes my watch. Okay, so we're not drawing any more Avaros and Sentries. We know that. We're almost completely out of low cost units as well. If they're out there, I'll spot them. We've drawn six of our nine units that cost three or less. Screeching Dragon's gonna be major trouble. It can eat up lots of two ones and three threes. Yeah, but they don't want to eat up anymore, I suppose. Mm, footprints here. Bladder Ravine will be like instant Swain level. Is question is is Garen the best champion? And that answer is no. I don't think so. No, Garen's really good, though, especially early on um, and in the lower ranks and everything. It's just a really good size and regeneration is a great keyword to have. Um, so, no, it's it's a very good champion, but it is not one of the best. Um, there's not very much Garen being played at the high levels. I think the best champions, I think there's two that are pretty ahead of the others right now, and that's Lissandra and Sivir. Sivir having... The two keywords of the quick attack and spell shield really difficult to deal with with the spell shield really difficult to block <laughs> so one bladder ravine just levels up swain by itself and now we have all the cards now we hunt now we hunt And then Lissandra just has lots and lots of text and does lots of things. Virtue guides me. I'm gonna play this other ravine because I want this screeching dragon out of here. I'm I'm worried about the screeching dragon killing my Leviathans. So much for getting the screeching dragon out of here. So I was planning on playing Swain also. That was that was gonna be my plan. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know the go get it was bugged now, and so that the summon it doesn't count as a summon right now because it's bugged. I did not know that. Yeah, that's makes that card very difficult to play. Playing the, the Leviathan on the left because if they've been paying attention, they should know that, like from my Babbling Beard, that card, that spot right there was an 8 plus cost card. And obviously, I've, I've had it enabled to these troll scavengers. The answer okay, leveled up karma is always difficult to beat. Dark in the skies. Hopefully, we can. And again, they know they know about that Swain. They don't know about the other Swain in hand. Yeah, leveled up, leveled up. Karma can be difficult. Nothing escapes my watch. I obviously really don't want to see like Will of Ionia, like that. You know, that kind of bounce stuff. Want Swain plus Leviathan out here to do some stun in. Really glad we drew that troll chant before. 
but they're they're letting me pass and they're letting you know letting this happen. I'm just gonna let this happen. And if they have that ten mana card that bounces everything except for one unit, that would be broken. Please don't have that. Okay, it's concerted strike. Well, double cast concerted strike. That'd be yeah. So like, troll chant doesn't save. So now they know I have a second Swain in hand, so now they know about a Ravenous Flock in hand. I guess we just keep taking the pass. Could they be setting up a Judgment? I don't think I'm in a bad spot if we just keep passing. I think they have to break the pass first. Was doing the Nexus damage. First fight only does two, so Leviathan stays the 5-8. Don't think they have the mana. Don't think they have the mana for Judgment. Could definitely be, you know, like concussive palms. Peace has its cost. All right, cool. Got him. Nice and patient. Remember this day. We get another four one today. Can we finish out the day all four ones? Rexi Rivet. So we got a Pump Spell Rek'Sai deck. We're going to be buffing up that Rek'Sai. So we have... Look at those. We have only two Flash Freeze, but they are going to be two incredibly important cards. So let's try to find them. I like the Troll Chant also. That can help uh, keep a Rek'Sai from getting to 10. It's your time. You can see the Devastian border from here. No, no ranked games today. Safeguard our homes. Um, but now I have a stroke scavenger. Mm, footprints here. I wasn't really prepared to play that, but then what? drawing the Leviathan and things changed. All right, pass the round. I missed my attack for two. Yeah, talk about a curve. <laughs> talk about a reforge curve. Alright, so they have all of the blades. Yep, they got every blade. Look out for reefers! Hopefully this gets them. Hopefully this gets takes care of the Riven. Light the signal fires. I failed. All right, that's big. Getting Riven out of here. I think we're gonna go ahead and go with the Trundle. We haven't played Trundle yet in any of these games, have we? No. Yes, yeah, so that's our first Trundle to play. Good point. 
I've got the reins. Ooh. So whenever I did the troll chant, they had Elixir of Wrath. And they had Whirling Death, but they only had three mana. I obviously really like seeing this though, right? Like I I have all these like really important cards in hand. And so just trading like a, a three three babbling Bjerg that I don't care about anymore. For a card like Whirling Death, I'm very happy about that. We need to find, you know, an Avalanche or a Blighter Reed, something like that to level up our Swain. Um, if it doesn't get leveled up, it, life will be okay. Are they going to attack, or let me play a blocker first? We're going to be playing Bjerg. Whoa, that thing's big. Bjerg and Scavenger. Look at that quality! They're coming! Hi! My treasure. The trolls are going to war! Ready when you are. Always ready. We got lots of eight mana cards. I'll knock them dead. Okay. Fair enough. Troll out. Troll out. I don't know if I've had this many eight mana cards, like especially specifically eight. I don't think I've had this many eight mana cards in my hand at one time before. We have six eight mana cards in hand, including three Leviathans. It's pretty crazy. Okay, just a single lurk, so it wasn't a Rek'Sai. I'm going to be playing Leviathan, I think. And then next round, Leviathan. And then next round, Leviathan. Destination in sight. And then the next round. I guess I'll be out of Leviathans. No, I only got to play the first Leviathan? Come on! I only had... Two more Leviathans. <laughs> All right, three and zero. Oh. All right, we got some lurkers. Probably be a little bit better of a lurker deck than what we just faced. You know, we just saw the the ribbon lurker deck. It was kind of cool though. I'm glad my opponent was trying something new. I'm not just playing same deck everybody else is. I like it. Ooh. Warren T-Type says, with the new Aurelia skin, I just realized this could be the first time skins actually have different distinct effects if they do the skin right. Meaning, like, the blades could be ruined blades instead of regular blades. Yeah, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure if they will do that. I'm not sure if they will be, um, you know, ruined blades, but that would be really cool if they do that. I hope so. I'm not hopeful, though because I feel like uh, I'm going to be playing Sentry. These old eyes still see far and clear. Ready the torches. I feel like they've had this opportunity or like for how much they they charge on the skins. They each one should really have its own level of animation for how they how much they charge. They're like $10 each. Approximately. I don't know. They're so expensive. And so I'm not confident they're just going to also make ruined blades, but that would be really cool if they did. I hope so. It was right on my tail. You gotta believe me. With those things, with them gaining so much power with these lurks, they really trade up well. Well, this was my plan. But if they hit lurk, come on, miss lurk, miss. Miss. Now will they hit? 
Gross. That will be useful. Where do you stand on cold shots? Okay, so they have one fleeting card, this one right here. So this is that card right there. Quite a good fleeting card to have. Can always rely on you to keep us safe. Never turn your back on the sea. Hmm. I feel like I shouldn't turn my back on the sea. I don't know why. I was just thinking that, though. I was just thinking about that. Alright, so I'm flat I'm frostbiting there. And then it's, you know, like do I block here or there? Like, you know. I'm frostbiting there and then I'm going doing this. So I could take six if I do this. Do that, we go to you know, we only take two, go to seven. I don't know which one to do. I don't I don't know how worried I have to be about being at three. I don't know. Sharp sight? Or not sharp sight, but sorry, shape stone. I'm gonna make a you sickle. It's good to be the king. I was a little bit more worried about doing it the other way around, even though like we would be able to kill a pike. But I was worried about Sorry, um, I was worried about like how the pike would have a first first strike or the quick attack. It had the quick attack, and then my trundle only had one health. Um, so I guess it's Leviathan. Cool. Pike still done zero damage. They're not going to lurk the pike. They just draw the pike naturally, so that we know that that fourth card is pike in hand. I can still only play one threat, which is kind of a problem. That threat's going to be Swain, so that um, if they do play something else, such as a pike, I can play some ice shards and do some stunning with the ice shards. Stuns. So this is going to be 5, 6, 7, 8. Overwhelm. 
really hope that's not a Pike spell. We know it's a Lurk card, and we know it's not a Rek'Sai. It's something they predicted and put on top, so it could very well be a Pike, and that would be a problem. I think my best play is double spell with both Swain and Trundle. Okay, it is Xerxereth. Ice to meet you, Xerxereth. I'll do. G, G. Close one. Four and O. Oh. Looks like we're going to have at least four and one on every deck today. What a day. All right, as you all know, if we are four and O oh over in normal on our meme tier days like, like this, like whenever we're just kind of hanging out, having fun, if we are four and O, oh, that means it's too good for normal. So we're taking it over to ranked and we're going to see how we do for game number five to try to finish out that five win dream with Captain Farron Ramp. Sivir Jarvan, I think that this, this is my pick for the best deck in the format. I think that this is better than Sivir Zed. I think Jarvan is just really well positioned as like I've talked about before with this because I think Jarvan, because I think Sivir is amazing. We talk about the, the great, the four amazing uh, Sharima cards right now and I think Jarvan works out great against both Sivir and Ruin Runner. So you have a uh we'll, we'll look in those two, keep these two, sorry. Okay, so you have a uh Sivir deck that's great against other Sivir decks, basically. So I really like Sivir Jarvan. They appeared out of nowhere. I think. So it's my pick for current best deck. Right. Silver Jarvan. We get Viego tomorrow. Coming in from San Diego. So that can uh, certainly change. Everything can definitely change tomorrow with having about 20 new cards or so with the latest expansion. The young prince will be found. I don't really like this combo though. I know like it's like when it works like this, this looks awesome, but I just I don't know if like this combo is worth it enough. I don't know, maybe it is. Cuz there's off there's of course all the ways to get vulnerable with Sharima. I'm not sure the Penitent Squire is worth it though. But it's just a two drop. Yeah, maybe I guess there's a good Yeah, good chance that it is worth it. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Matt, man, I've been looking forward to it all month. New expansion coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I think that Viego is going to be really good. And I I think people are, don't understand how good these encroaching mists are going to be. I think the, the three drop and the seven drop that put in the encroaching mist, especially the seven drop puts it in to play every round. They are going to be awesome now. Um, I don't think we have much of a chance in this game, to be honest. We look very dead. Yeah, these cards these cards are great together. Shrima and, and Demacia just have so many good, good combat tricks. They have so many vulnerable and challengers and just can get to determine how you attack and how you and how they block and it's Yeah, like they're this deck's really good. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Oh yeah, gonna make the new dragon decks with the uh, the spooky dragons, the Shadow Isles dragons. I bet that's going to be good. If you've hurt him. Is but to do and die. Yep, pretty dead. Yeah, that's that's the thing about this deck. They just completely control combat. Like, yeah, it's Jarvan's really, really good right now. It really is. 
A big part of that is because how good barriers are. Barriers are really well positioned. So I don't have too much of a chance of winning. So I think I have to... Let's play this. Ah, you have my banner. My prince, how did you escape? It's just so unlikely that if, if I challenge that kills it, but... Yeah. No quarter! All right, so yep, this is what the best current deck looks like, and that was an amazing hand, very good hand. Didn't have like Sivir or Rune Runner, but yeah, besides that, had everything. Jarvan was awesome. Let's talk about your deck. I don't know about that challenge. Hmm. Yep, we'll take the 4-1. Let my opponent do their cool stuff. They could definitely play their deck in ranked. <laughs> their deck is the best in the game right now. Splatter Ravine may do something. So I know like it'd be good to play the Swain, because you know, like you just have like your level up Swain, then you play Leviathan, but they're they have the Jarvan with the Cataclysm. So I can't really just like play Swain immediately. Let's take this outside. Yeah, they could be practicing for ranked. And a lot of, there's there are a lot of people that don't like ranked. That just um you know, it makes them really nervous and, and things like that. That they just they're just much more comfortable playing in normal, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't have any plays that are good. I guess if they have absolutely nothing, I guess this is something to do. But they're you know you gotta assume they have a sharp sight or ooh sharp sight or the plus three plus one card. Is but to do and die. Gonna find a gift for an action. Oh, right, this is ranked. Right, I am in ranked. My bad, my bad. That's right, yeah, that makes sense. I, you know, we've been playing normal all day. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry, yep. And uh, not gonna lie, this is what, uh, whenever we started this this deck uh, before, I think, it, I guess it was probably before I hit record, we were talking about it, and I think I, I was saying that I thought that this was going to really struggle against the Sivir decks. There's just not really any ways that this is taking out Spell Shield and stuff like that. We did get to defeat a Sivir Zed deck our first round. We got uh, kind of a little fortunate there, but Sivir Jarvan's a different animal, and Jarvan, people are sleep, sleeping on how good Jarvan is. All right, but there we go. That was Captain Farron Ramp. Still pretty cool. Let's focus on the wins. We went four and one. Lots of good wins there. Um, and our deck did what it was supposed to do, right? Like, you just kind of delay the game. You got good blockers. Sentry, like, Troll Scavenger is a great two-mana blocker. It's a good body for only two mana whenever it's a 4-3. And it was a 4-3 basically the whole time. So, you know, you got your Sentry, your Scavenger, your Tavern Keeper healing your Nexus, and then your Babbling Bjerg. And the Bjerg draws you your top end. And then if they go too wide, too fast, you got Avalanche, Ravine, Ice Shard, slow them down a little bit, ramp a little bit, and then you got your, your fives at Swain Trundle and your top end. So pretty fun little deck. There we go. Trundle Swain, uh, focused Captain Farron ramp. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully y'all are just enjoying Legends of Runeterra. Let me know. Um, if you, you know, anything about the deck, if y'all play it at all, love to hear those comments or, you know, just whatever you got. Always love seeing those comments. All right. But anyway, that's going to be it here for Captain Farron Ramp. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.